Hey, what's going on? How's everybody doing today? I'm going to promise to bring you guys a lot of energy, a lot of value added. When you leave here, you're going to learn about unusual option activity and how to trade it in your trading plan. Throughout this presentation, I will be trading because that's what I do. That's how I pay the bills. I trade for a living. I uh, will show you my trading account. I'll show you everything. I'm actually down about 700 bucks today uh, after making about 70000 this week. Uh, so today's presentation is going to be how to beat the algos, the unusual option activity trading plan. I will be your presenter today, Andrew Keen. You guys got me for the next hour. Please feel free to ask any questions throughout the presentation. Ooh, I have to hit the recording button. Uh, please feel free to ask any questions throughout the presentation. I can multitask while I multitask. I'm very good. Uh, I'm right now running my trading room, trading on four monitors, and I'm running a webinar. Usually, I never do webinars during the day. But uh, Real Traders Audio asked me to do it, so I said, yes, of course I will. So, past performance is not indicative of future results. Someone says they're psyched for me. Awesome. Little risk disclaimer here. Unfortunately, you have to put this in every single webinar we do. Day trading, short-term trading, option trading, and future trading is extremely risky. These are generally not appropriate for someone with little capital, little to no experience, or low tolerance of risk. Never execute a trade unless they can afford and prepare to lose your entire investment. All trading operations involve risk, and you can lose your entire investment. No trades are recommendations or advice, and we cannot be sued for losses of capital. And just for the record, I turned down a CN two CNBC interviews for this webinar. I swear. Uh, contact your broker, registered investment advisor for execution, margin, and other capital requirements. I am not a registered investment advisor. I do not have a 763 or 56. I cannot give recommendations or advice. <clears throat> All I can offer is my opinion, okay? Everybody wa watching today's presentation adheres to all risk disclaimers at www.optionhacker.com and www.keenonthemarket.com. Now that the fun stuff's out of the way, let's get on to the nitty-gritty here. Uh, this is me. Picture on the left was from college. Uh, on the left, it kind of got caught out. It's Humpty from Digital Underground. I don't understand why this thing keeps showing. Oh, don't show me again. Okay. On the left, you see Digital Underground. I was just a scrawny little kid. Studied at finance at the University of Illinois, champaign Urbana. before I became a market maker. On the right is a picture of my good friend Trish Regan uh, from CNBC and Bloomberg. She's on CNN now. And then Adam Johnson, who is, uh, now contributes to some writing on our website. He was a Bloomberg anchor for six years. So I've gone a long way. Um, you know, I started you know, as a market maker on the floor, and throughout my time, I've become more reputable in the industry, and I let my profitability you know, speak for itself. The thing that is going to separate me from today, you know, all the other gurus is I will show you any single P&L statement you want, win, lose, or draw. Um, I have not had a losing year, knock on wood, since 2009 trading. Um, you know, there's a lot of good speakers today. Education is important, but I put my money where my mouth is every single day when I am trading. Uh, I can show you today. So this is my main trading account in Thinkorswim. <clears throat> As you can see today, it, I'm literally down $67. If you see here, my overall P&L year to date, I'm up $171,000. I was up uh, $70,000 this week. So I've had an absolute crazy great week. Um, so this is my thicker swim account. I just let my profit speak for itself. I know Hubert has a no BS approach. My approach should be let the profit speak for themselves. 171,000 I'm up this year. And I just trade this all in front of my subscribers in a live trading room. And we'll offer that later today at the price, lowest price point we've ever offered it at. Now, uh, I was in Chicago for 12 years. I said, I need to change the pace. I need to move out to San Diego. Why? Because I can. I love San Diego. Uh, I now moderate and trade from San Diego. I'm a regular contributor on CNBC. Uh, CNBC, I've been doing a lot lately. You can go to CNBC.com. Uh, you can click on uh, CNBC, you can hit on keywords and you can write, just write Keen. And I do about four hits a week for CNBC now. So I, you get a CNBC contributor. So you can just hit Keen in the keywords and then you can go up and they'll be like, uh, so these are all my hits. You can hit video too if you want. If you want to see articles, you can see articles. So this was from today. This was from today, 23rd, 22nd, 21st. Let's just say CNBC likes me. 21st, so you can go there and watch all my videos on CNBC. Uh, floor trader at the CBO Chicago Board Options Exchange for over a decade. Uh, on the bottom left is a picture of my view from where I trade. 
I trade on a Cox internet connection. When I was in Chicago, I do have an office in Chicago. I have 10 people that work for me total. We'll talk about a couple of the, my guys that work for me that were all students. Okay, They used to pay me for the trading room, and now they moderate my trading room. So my students have now become you know, professors. So I run it in San Diego. We have an office in Chicago uh, with five people there. I have two guys in New York, three guys in New York, and a guy in Oklahoma City and another person in San Diego. Uh, in the middle is my BMW I'm proud of. I bought it with profits. And then a couple pictures on the right is CNBC. <clears throat> this is James Romelli. And I want to get you guys familiar with the team because the, the offer we're making to you at the end, you get everybody on the team. It's just not about Andrew Keen. It's not the Andrew Keen show. It's about my whole team. James is on CNBC, Bloomberg, Fox Business, BNN. I'm sure you guys have seen him on. He'll be on Bloomberg today. He also had to turn down a CNBC hit. He's on Bloomberg. He's my earnings guru, okay? He specializes in earnings and trading earnings. Then we have Christian. Christian just came on board about a, uh, about a month ago. So we run a live trading room with eight and a half hours of audio and visual throughout the course of the day. I'm personally in the trading room for two and a half hours a day. We have the second biggest live paid all day trading room in the world. As you can see here, this is the actual trading room. We have 305 people in there right now, uh, and this is all audio. So it's not just chat. We show our trades, we show our screen, we show a proprietary base, unusual option activity scanner, which is going to be today's topic. Christian came on board from Merrill Lynch. He was a senior trader at Merrill Lynch, uh, specializing in ETFs. So I brought him on board because I don't know ETFs that well. He's awesome. He's on for an hour a day. Also has his MBA from Rutgers. Web is my technical analysis math, uh, madness, and he comes up with a lot of uh, our indicators through Thinkorswim. He also comes out with a lot of back testing and a lot of trading through technical analysis. So when you guys purchase uh, the uh, the platinum package, we're going to offer you today for 95% off. You get all four of us. It's not just you get the Andrew Keen show. You get eight and a half hours of audio and visual throughout the day in the best platinum, the best trading room in the world. It's really interesting too. Is I can just I want to just bring this up real quick. I, I have full transparency. Here's CNBC wanted a quote from me today, so I have to go quote this after the webinar. Um, but this is one of my subscribers. He literally sent this to me today. I didn't even ask for it. You can see one hour ago. Started with $100,000 a little bit of more than a month ago. I did not take the Coke trade. I also shorted the Russell, uh, sitting on 175 contracts. Uh, have trade for a long time. Do better to participate in the room. Don't quit your day job. So this member, subscriber of the trade room sent this today. He started with $100,000 a month ago, and you can see his statements from uh, March 20th to April 24th, and he's a subscriber of the trading room. Uh, over that period, gains of $38,000 on a $100,000 account. And this is literally an email I got an hour ago. We have a, I have a box of testimonies, probably 90 testimonials in there. So we're going to talk about unusual option activity today. Okay. If you guys have any questions throughout the presentation, feel free to ask. Okay. This is nothing like you've never seen before. Okay. Uh, day trading stocks is the hardest thing to do. Throughout this presentation, I promise to do a couple of things. One, I promise to teach you something probably never known before. Number two, I promise you will leave with a concrete trading plan. And promise number three after watching, because I've been watching today's presentation every, all day long, I promise not to show any charts from 2012 and 2013. Okay, I promise to show charts from 2015 only. Okay, I could come up and you can have a statistic on a statistic. I can show you charts from four, three years ago and said this would work, this would work, this would work. I want to show you stuff that is actionable today. How I can make money every single day. Okay, this is unusual option activity. If you guys watch CNBC, you see the Nigerians, John Nigerian, Pete Nigerian. I've done webinars with them. We think on the same pace. This is everything I took from the trading floor. Okay. I'm probably the only guru in this space that actually traded on the trading floor for over a decade. Okay, I know the ins and outs of trading and the business better probably than anybody out there. And this is what I'm going to teach you guys today. You guys are going to learn something different, and you're going to leave today with a concrete trading plan that you can use in your trading every single day. So what is unusual option activity? Unusual option activity is driven by institutional order flow. UOA, as we call it, unusual option activity, is an order from a hedge fund, mutual fund, or a big retail trader. Currently, right now, there are no dark pools and options. I will repeat that. Currently, right now, there's no dark pools and options. However, there could be dark pools at any point in time. The exchanges are fighting very hard never to have dark pools. 
You know why trading stocks is the hardest thing out there? Because you don't see a lot of the orders. You can go cross 5 million shares uh, you know, in, uh, in uh, dark pools. In a dark pool, if you guys are not familiar with the dark pool, dark pool is where you can make trades without anybody else knowing. So day trading stocks used to be easy to trade. You'd see someone bid for 5 million shares of Facebook, you could buy it because you have a stop loss. It doesn't work anymore because the volumes are all hidden. Okay? So unusual option activity is an order from a big trader. There are 8,700 publicly traded companies. 4,199 of them have options in their company. So as you see here, okay, this is our scanner that I use in the trading room every single day, and these orders just go across the tape all day long. We see about 12 to 1,500 orders coming across the tape, and I allocate capital on about six trades a day. We post all our trades, and I'm going to yell there for doing this, in the notes tab. So today I have three entries and I have nine exits. Okay? That's today. Sorry about that for the trading room. Okay. So I place trades on institutional order flow. We're going to talk about what institutional order flow is. We're going to talk about why it is important. These orders give me insight to what is going on with the smart money. Let's call a spade a spade. Hedge funds are smarter than us. I am not the one creating the order. Throughout this presentation, I want you guys to remember the word, the number 90. What is 90? 90% 90 of all traders lose money. That is a fact. You guys have taken the first step to all hopefully become a profitable trader. Everybody came in today, and we've seen a lot of people in here. There's a great audience, a lot of energy, a lot of questions. Questions are good are here for one reason, one reason only, to make more money. I do not trade because I'm making the, the world a greater place. I trade because I'm really good at it and I make money. That's the only reason to trade. I do extracurricular activities such as Habitat for Humanity and Boys and Girls Club, but trading-wise, I trade to make money. So I want to know what's the best way to make money. I've been trading for 13 years. I've made close to $6 million in my trading career. And that's that profits, that's profits minus with losses. So it's not like I made six million, I lost five million. That is profits, close to six million dollars. I have not had a losing trading year since 2009. And I want to teach you guys how I've been successful. And as this goes on, I will be trading in the background. Nothing's going across the tape. I don't have to make any trades. This is where smart money is going. If you guys watch CNBC, I'm a big CNBC guru, junkie. This is very similar to John Nigerian and Pete Nigerian. Every single day on halftime report, if they're on, they talk about unusual option activity. They talk about institutional order flow. So what types of traders do they make? There are only two types of options. Okay, We're going to offer a platinum package plus the Ichimoku course today for $47 at the end. This is great for any type of trader, futures, forex, stocks, options. Okay, If you're a beginner trader, we have beginner traders in our room that don't even know what an option is. We have expert traders. We have huge, huge private equity guys. We have hedge fund guys trading in our trading room. So there is only two types of options. There are calls and there's puts. That is it. So when I'm watching institutional order flow, my main focus is to know options are traded for one of two reasons. That is it, guys. Options are trading is either speculation or a hedge, okay? So when an institution buys upside calls, are they buying calls as speculation or a hedge? And I'm going to teach you guys a very simple trading plan. It's called the Oak Rivet Trading Plan, where you can go through this and try to figure out if this institutional order flow is bullish, bearish, or neutral. So calls are bought for one of two reasons hedge against a short stock position or speculation to the upside. Trader sells calls, one of two reasons. Sell calls against a long stock position or speculation to the short side. Trader buys puts. Are they buying puts against a long stock position or speculating to the downside? Trader sells puts, protection against a short stock position or speculation to the upside. Any of these trades can be speculation or hedge. My goal, and you never know a trader's stock position on, is to try to figure out which one they are. Okay? So when I see these kind of trades going across the tape, and we're going to show you examples of some trades, my goal is try to figure out its speculation or hedge. Throughout the last two years, I've had long call positions on, I think, eight stocks that have been merger and acquisition candidates. 
Okay, how did I know that? I only have 20 positions on total. Am I a genius? No, I'm just watching institutional order flow. I'm seeing what the biggest, smartest traders in the world are doing, and I'm mimicking their positions. And every single trade is public information. So the minute it hits the tape, it becomes a public order. Like I said, guys, if you guys have any questions throughout the presentation, I don't see any questions, which is good because it means you're absorbing this all, feel free to ask any question you want. So don't take all trades at face value, okay? Speculation or hedge. And we're going to go through the trading plan. If you want some free sites you can go to to get some uh, unusual option activity, you can kind of go through these trades. You know, Option Monster uh, is a very good site. Let me bring this up here. And this is talks about it. Oh, yeah. I, I bring the heat. So we go to Option Monster here. So you go to Option Monster. And they, you know, this is John and Pete Nigerian site. Uh, and this is institutional order flow. So bulls are back in JD.com. Okay. So then they write an article about institutional order flow. This is a great site where you can get some unusual option activity. The problem with this is they're delayed. You know, by the time they write an article, it's about half an hour to an hour delayed. A lot of times, you know, the price will move. Okay. DSW. Look at this. So option monster put out a trade. A trader bought DSW calls. Well, we go to DSW. Oh, it's such a coincidence. I saw the exact same thing. This is DSW. I'm out of the position. Today's profit's $2,529. Okay? So we watch a lot of the same stuff that they watch because this is how unusual option activity works. I saw these HLT calls. I did not trade them. So if you want to get some free unusual option activity, you can go to optionmonster.com and they give some free you know, pieces of advice or some articles. Um, unfortunately, these aren't really actionable. These are about 45 minutes delayed, unfortunately. So if a trader buys calls, is it bullish or is it speculation of the downside? And these are not back-tested strategies. Um, and you know, one thing you guys got to realize is percentage of trades that are winners, okay? A lot of people say, oh, 80% of the trades that are winners, 70% of my trades are winners. I could give a, I could care less, okay? And let me tell you exactly why, guys. If I have five trades on, trade number one, I lost 1,000. Trade number two, I lost 1,000. Trade number three, I lost 1,000. Trade number four, I lost a thousand. Then the fifth trade, I made ten thousand dollars. Well, if you think about percentage of my trades were winners, only twenty percent of the trades were winner. However, I made six thousand dollars profit. Okay, so that's why I always say all I care about is what my bottom P and L does. Uh, what is the best real time way to track this order flow? It is in our in our platinum package, which is our live trading room. We'll talk about this at the end. Basically, we give live commentary, analysis, and trading on this institutional order flow. So I'll take this off the screen, but you can see IBM was the last trade here. There'll be another trade probably within 10 seconds. So we do live commentary and analysis of every single unusual option activity trade that goes across the board. And I could give you, you know, snapshots of making money in a day. Anybody can give snapshots of making money in a day. But show me a P&L where someone, you know, can show you this kind of P&L on, you know, my account's 500,000. Actually, it was 360,000, so I'm up about 50% of my account, right? So I can show you snapshots. I'll show you snapshots at the end of the day of PL for the day, but you got to add that all up. Okay? So this just shows me, you know, basically uh, institutional order flow if it's a hedge or speculation. If they sell calls, are they selling calls? You know, I think 50% of the time it's bullish, 50% of the time it is bearish. Paper buys puts, I would say 65 35, 65% 65 it's actually bullish, and 35% it's bearish. And you can say to yourself, AK, you know, hey, how can it be bullish if you're buying puts? Well, buying puts, as the hedge funds have gotten much smarter throughout the years, they have realized if you buy puts and you buy stock, we all know the synthetic of buying puts, buying stock, is a long call strategy. There's a great uh, YouTube video of Jim Cramer. You can do Jim Crater manipulation Apple. Uh, and it's a video of how he buys a bunch of puts, makes up a rumor that Apple's going to miss their numbers, Stock goes down, he buys all the stock, and when the rumor's not true, then he gets long. Great strategy, huh? And paper sells puts, which is about 80-20 bullish. So in fact, institutional traders use all kinds of strategies to hedge their positions. I'm not looking at trades that I think are hedging positions. I'm looking at trades that I think is, is speculation to the upside or the downside. So 
Sorry, I didn't need to take a sip of water. Just like I said, guys, I let the profits speak for themselves. I have made money every single year. We have a, a couple of testimonials that we'll talk about then. Since 2009, I can give examples from this week, today, but you know, I'm not going to show you something from two years ago, three years ago, even 2014. 2014 is in the past. Okay, I want to show you today. Am I making money today? Am I making money yesterday? Am I making money this week? Okay, this strategy can work for any account size. So I trade on a very substantial account, but you don't need to be have a very a substantial account. How do you tell the difference? We're going to go through the trading plan. Okay. Yes, unusual option activity works great on a small account. We'll go through the trading plan and your the Oak Ribbit trading plan, O C R R B T T. And we'll go through that for you guys so you guys can leave here with knowing how to use institutional order flow. So you have a very simple, easy to go through trading plan of how to trade it. So you can trade this on a small account, on any option account. Okay. The platinum package was our live trading room. You know, uh, Web actually trades futures. Christian trades ETFs. I focus all my energy on unusual option activity because that's what I'm the best at. Okay. But you can trade this on a very small account. We have people that are subscribers of our trading room that trade on a simulated account. Okay. Because you guys should be practicing before you go. Just like you're you're an athlete, right? You got to go through so many levels before you get to the pro level. Okay, so you can be trading this on a you know paper account, small account. You can have a large account. I mean, I have close to seven hundred thousand dollars in my trading account, so I trade on a very substantial account. So unusual option activity. This is a perfect example of unusual option activity. And then we see here, okay, what is this trade? So let's walk through exactly what this trade is. Okay. So this is what we're going to see on our scanner. As you can see here, IBM was the first thing, the last thing we saw. And look at how many trades have already passed since the IBM trade. Okay, this is straight from the trading floor. So IBM traded, and then we have all this TWC. We have a bunch of Way, Starbucks. None of this stuff's actionable though. And if it's actionable, I'll put a trade on UAL. Not actionable. AMD not actionable. Okay. So what does the trade look like? Okay. Every single stock has stock volume in a day. We can all agree on that. Every single option has option volume in a day. For example, if a stock, let's call it XYZ, trades on average 1,000 contracts a day, if it trades 3,000 contracts that day, that would be known as 3.0 times usual volume. If it's times usual volume, makes it unusual volume. So I'm looking for unusual option activity. Okay. This is a trade that went across an ALTR. Sweep. Sweep means they're buying it from every single exchange. They said we need these, we'll buy them from whatever exchange will offer them to us. So sweep detected. It says bullish or bearish. Bullish would be buying calls, selling puts. Bearish would be selling calls or buying puts. Bullish trade. A trader bought 2,958 ALTR April 36 calls for 35 cents. This was an actual trade straight from the trading floor. We snapshot this. There's no copy. There's no editing it. This is a straight trade from our scanner that just happened about, about a month ago. So a trader bought ALTR April 36 calls for 35 cents. The market was 25, 35. We can go through all the codes here. Kind of just went over what I explained. Yeah, okay. So trade size 2,958. That means the trader has the right but not obligation. We always times that by 100. One option is 100 shares of stock. So the trader has the right but not obligation to buy 295,800 shares of ALTR between now and April expiration for 35 cents. It is a call. It is a sweep. It means we're buying it from every exchange. And another important thing, opening position. We like to trade opening positions. I do not like to trade closing positions. I want to know when the institutions initially initiating a trade. That's where the stock was trading at the time. Okay. And let's see what happened here. Let's talk about how the order is executed. Okay. This is the process of how the order is executed. Okay. So we have a hedge fund. We have a bunch of traders upstairs that basically do all this research. They call everybody. It is a fact that hedge funds have insider information. If you do not think hedge funds have insider information, you should try. You should never trade ever again. Okay. But 
hedge funds have insider information that we are not privy to. Okay? Why would they participate in the stock market when they can participate in the option market? The option market is going to take your return on investment and magnify them. Stocks have huge margin requirements. Options, not so much. I can show you examples probably this year of options that I had on that went up three to 500% over the course of one day to a month while the stock moved 10% or 5%. So basically, they come up with all their research. They say, hey, this is what we want to do. And they do it based on insider information. Simple and easy. They call their broker. They say, hey, we want to buy some ALTR calls. How many can we buy at what price? That broker will then shop the order to Citadel, Goldman Sachs, Merrill Lynch, Morgan Stanley off the floor. Then they take the order to the trading floor. Every single option order is executed on the trading floor. I always talk about a lot of different things in trading. If you want to trade and you want to make money in the long term, you need number one, probability in your corner. You will never make money if you don't have profitability in your corner. How do you put profitability, profit, profitability in your quarter? It is by trading with unusual option activity. Everything else is a zero-sum game. Someone said to me, hey, AK, I got a million bucks. I want 95% of my trades to be winner. 95% of my trades to be winners. I'd say that's the easiest thing ever because I know I can sell a $1 call spread for one penny. Anytime you're doing spreads, any times you're doing you know, random spreads, you're day trading, it's very, very easy to make money in the short term, okay? but it's about longevity. Just like playing poker, the best poker players in the world will always end up with the money. The best traders in the world will be end up with all the money. Simple and easy. I educate very well. I trade much better than I educate. Okay? I'm a trader, th thick and thin, and I'm really good at it. Okay? But, you, you know, in the short term, anybody can make money. You guys are all here, as I talked about earlier, for what reason? To make more money. Taking the first step by coming here, because if you don't come here, you can't learn and educate. Okay? And I have 12 courses myself, and I could offer a course, but why would I offer a course when you guys can come to watch me trade live every single day for, you know, cheaper than you can get a course for? Courses are great, but they're all in hindsight. All of my courses are in hindsight. This worked, that worked, this worked, that. That didn't, this didn't, that didn't. I'll let you watch me trade live every single day for cheaper than you can get a course for. So then they shop the order. The trade is then executed in the pit on the trading floor. Okay? It's executed on the trading floor. This signal is then picked up by our scanner, which we don't own the technology for. And this scanner spits it out, and then I decide if I want to make a trade or not. Okay? So this is it, ARCP, a bunch of July 9 straddles being sold. That's not an actionable idea. So uh, throughout the course of the day, there's 12 to 1,500 trades that go across the day. We give you live commentary and analysis, and I think on, on, in general, on average, there's probably four to six really good actionable ideas, maybe potentially up to 20. So here's ALTR. This hit the tape. Trader bought some April 36 calls for 35 cents. Let's go see what happened to it. Shocking. How does this happen? How does someone come in the market, buy calls, the stock went up $7, okay? Do you think that that is pure luck? Those calls went from $0.35 cents to $7, okay, within minutes. Does someone randomly buy ALTR and the stock went up? No, there's a rumor that's going to get bought out, okay? So this is institutional order flow, and this isn't from 2012, 2013, or 2014. This is from about a month ago, and this is just one example. I actually did not have a position on in the stock, okay? So I'm not up a lot of money this year because I had a position in the stock. Stock ripped higher. Hypothetically speaking, if I bought these calls, for, uh, if I bought a 20 lot of these calls, I would have profited $13,300, okay? If I had a 20 lot, that's it. So if we saw this unusual option activity that hit our tape, hit our scanner, you like the trade, you bought 20 of them, you risk $700. When you buy options, the most you can lose is what you pay for them. So 20 times 35 cents is $700. At the top, it would have been worth $13,300. Okay? Like I said, guys, this year, including all my trading accounts, I'm up over $200,000, and this is 95% of my trading. 
I trade a little Forex using each move of cloud. I day trade a little stocks doing it. But my bulk of my trading is from unusual option activity, and we offer the live commentary and analysis all day long. Next slide. Okay, this was Kraft, and I had a big position. You guys can actually go to CNBC. You can hit Keen. You can look my, for my Kraft interview. I was long 500 Kraft calls, okay, and I sold them all two days before the deal. The deal was on Tuesday. On Friday, I was up a bunch of money. I sold all of my Kraft calls. But we had one of our subscribers that made $210,000 on this one trade. So on March 10th, a trader bought 10,000 KRFT, June 67 and a half calls for 70 cents. These traded as high as $22.70. And on my interview with CNBC, I even said, hey, I had a, hit, a huge position on. I would have made $400,000, but I didn't. What am I going to do? Nothing. Okay? Because I know there'll be another good trade coming up. So Kraft is a perfect example of unusual option activity. They bought 10,000 of these calls, right but not obligation, to control a million shares of stock. Does this trader get in trouble for insider trading? I mean, occasionally, once in a while, I like to make an example out of them, but in general, no. Okay? This kind of trading, this kind of order flow, goes across the tape every single day. We have shirts that we made in the Chicago office. It says, how do they know? And on the back it says, go, 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 go. It's almost like a joke, right? How do these institutions continue to make money in the option market? Because they are trading on information that none of us have. Okay? Once the trade is executed on the trading floor, or our scanner only picks up trades that are executed on the trading floor. Once it is executed, it becomes a public order. So it is possible for that trader to get in trouble for insider information. I cannot get in trouble at all for insider information because the minute it hits my tape, it becomes a public order. Okay? So always important to know. So why take these trades? The hedge funds and bigger traders have more information than we do. That's why they're always getting in trouble for insider information. Okay? I'm sure one day there'll be dark pools in the option market. I'm sure one day they'll crack down on insider information. But until they do, why would I not want to take these trades? I just saw a trade going across the tape right now. <gasps> I got to buy other puts. So these LLTC, they just bought some puts here. I thought I heard a sound that I liked the trade. So this is a good example. A trader bought 1,420 LLTC, uh, made 44 puts for 44 cents. I'm not buying these, but I thought it was going to be an actionable idea. I got real excited. So trade with the pros. Imagine knowing Carl Icahn or David Einhorn position on before it is disclosed. Okay. So now we talked about what institutional order flow is. What is unusual option activity? Now we're going to go through a simple, easy step trading plan so you guys can figure out if the trades are speculation or a hedge. So we call this the Oak Ribbit Trading Plan. You can write it down if you like. It's O-C-R-R-B-T-T. O-C-R-R-B-T-T. The first thing I look at at any order, I look at the option volume versus open interest. I'm looking for new positions. So volume greater than open interest. I always want the volume to be greater than open interest. Opening positions are always important as well. So the O of the Oak Ribbit Trading Plan is option volume versus open interest. I need the volume to be greater than the open interest. Me as an expert trader, I've taken trades where the volume is less than open interest because I know that trader is adding to a position. But in general, volume is greater than open interest. So when we see this unusual option activity, when we see the institutional order flow, this is the first thing to look at. If criteria one is not met, we do not have to make a trade. So if we go back over here and we looked at LLTC, okay, we see LLTC, a couple things. Opening position, and this just hit the table about 10 seconds ago, 1,420. Open interest is only 400. Okay? So we see opening position, and the volume is greater than open interest. Why did I not take this trade? I did see them buy LLTC calls earlier. Okay? So they bought calls earlier, so now they're buying puts. It's kind of, they're kind of confused. Do I want to get long or short? Okay? So I did not take this trade. But volume is greater than open interest. That is the number one thing I look for when I am trading unusual option activity. Then I look at the chart. 
Okay. Technical analysis, I use the Ichimoku Cloud. It is my favorite piece of technical analysis. You guys can use whatever charting methodology you want. I've used MACDs, I've uh, used uh, Golden Crosses, I've used Bollinger Bands, I've used the Squeeze. Uh, I've used everything out there from my point of view. Uh, I knew uh, Ichimoku Cloud works the best. Okay. So in general, I want to take bullish trades above, nothing in the cloud, and then bearish trades under the cloud. It's pretty simple, it's pretty straightforward. And with the package we're offering today, which is the Platinum Package, you get an eight-hour recording of the Ichimoku Cloud Workshop, which is great for stocks, futures, or Forex. So I want to look at how the stock looks on the daily chart that how can determine if it's speculation or a hedge. Okay? So anytime when I see the order flow, I go in order. I have this down so well because I've been doing it for so many years, guys. First thing, volume versus open interest. If the volume is less than open interest, no trade. Volume is greater than open interest, I can move to the second part of it. How does the chart look? If there's calls being bought in a 52-week low, I'm assuming they're buying calls against a short stock position. If there's puts being bought on a 52-week high, I'm assuming they're buying puts against a long stock position. So the Ichimoku Cloud helps me figure out speculation or a hedge. So this is an example of NTAP here, and this was a very, very weak looking chart. Um, however, in NTAP, it looks like it had a rounding bottom down here. It looked like it leveled out at that $35 level. And NTAP is an example of a stock that I took. Let me see NTAP. And I made a little bit of money on it, nothing crazy. Um, I made $6,000. So you can go to NTAP, and this is an actual trade that I took. NTAP, 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 NTAP. NTAP, I made $5,859 on this one trade, and I'm going to show you right here. And it doesn't mean there's not losses, okay? Uh, if you look at my P&L, this is every single stock that I've traded this year. NPAL down $35,000. MWV down $27,000. Uh, Coca-Cola down $53,000. But all I care about is my net P&L, okay? That's all I care about, which is $171,000. 170,000. All I care about is my net P&L. So I will have losers. Not every trade is going to make money. But here's an example of NTAP. The chart was bearish, but I see this rounding bottom here. And then what did I see? I saw a trader come in and buy a big quantity of calls. Let me go to this trade I saw. So this is NTAP. Okay? A trader bought 3,845 NTAP, uh, made 36 calls for 69 cents. Market was 56.71. I bought these. So opening position, what is the first thing we've learned today? The first thing we learned today is we want to look at volume versus open interest. So volume is greater than open interest. I can go to the second part of the trading plan, which is the chart. Okay. So the volume versus open interest has been met. Then I go to the chart. How does this chart look? It does look a little weak, but it looks like it's consolidating here at the $35 level. All these overlapping bars, and I think it can move higher here. If I wanted to, I could put stop losses in my options. I personally do not use stop losses in options. Okay? I personally do not use stop losses in options. So then we have R and R. So we've gone over the O, we've gone over the C. O is volume versus open interest. C is the chart. Then we have R and R. Some people like rest and relaxation. I really don't enjoy rest and relaxation. I like risk versus reward setups. I always want to know as a percentage of my total book. Okay, I'm going to have to go through this a little bit faster than I don't have that much time. So uh, I can look at a percentage of my book or a total dollar amount. As a beginner, you can use a 20% stop loss in the option. As an inter intermediate, you can use a 50% stop loss. And as an expert, I don't personally use stop losses. But this is a good general rule of stop losses. 20% for a beginner. Intermediate is 50%. And then experts, I don't use stop losses at all. Time and target. Time and target is so important. Okay? TNT, I like tacos and tequila as well, but I also like time and target. How much time am I going to give this trade? And what are my targets of this trade? When you guys purchase the Platinum Package, we have a section that's a confidence scale of how confident I am in a trade. Also, all my targets. Okay? How do I take off certain trades? Because every single trade is different. The weekly options are going to be different than May options. May is going to be different than June. June is going to be different than September. Uh, I don't use stop losses at all. You can use trailing stops as well. So in NTAP, these calls that traded for $0.69 cents, traded as high as $1.01 that day. 
Another example, guys, and this isn't an absolute blow winner. This is like a single. I always say when I'm trading, I'm not trying to hit a lot of homers. Just play a little small ball, single, single, single. Maybe I'll get a double. You know, every three months I hit a homer, and that's how you get in the Hall of Fame, right? A lot of singles, a lot of small ball. When I lose, when I have losing days, I want to have losing days that look like this. Today I lost $915. I will show you examples of my P&L this week where I made over $25,000 a day, and this is a losing day. Oh, I lost $915. Such is life. So if you bought a 20 lot of these, 20 lot uh, went as high as 101, they would have profited $640. And like I said, guys, we run a trading room, and you know if you guys don't take our offer at the end, I'm not going to be offended. But when you're not making money and you come to see a webinar again in three months that I present, you'll be like, oh, maybe I should have joined Andrew's room. Because we have four moderators of our trading room, all trading on their own account. We have about a million dollars in the market that we're trading live in front of you. And you know the other guys have about 100,000 each, and then I have about 700,000. Okay? And they are all my students. Okay? I have three moderators that run my trading room, including myself. They were all students. They paid for me to teach them how to trade. They bought courses. They bought workshops. They bought the trading room. They learned my mythology. They learned my system. Now they've become profitable traders. Now they teach other people. And I hope I get more of my students to become my moderators. That's awesome. It's one thing to run a, run a trading room. It's another thing to have your students that used to actually pay you, I now pay them. Okay? So they used to pay me for their services. Now I pay them to run the trading room. A couple of uh, testimonials here. Carol says, I know I've said this <laughs> at least a few times, and I've had the best day ever in Keen of the Market. I sold the craft April 67 half calls for a massive, massive profit. I sold some at the opening and the rest a few hours later. There is no better room than KOTM. Charlie said, I want to take this opportunity to thank you for sharing your trading experience. How, having joined your trading rooms a couple of weeks ago, I made $27,000 in craft thanks to unusual option activity you tried me. Matthew, Matthew's been with me, he's like my fifth customer chronologically, said, trading with KOTM has been very, very good to me. A trader who made over a million dollars in the trading room last year. We just had an email today from uh, William, William Hall, showed me his trading account, he's up 37,000 last month since he joined my trading room, okay? So what does our trading room offer you guys, okay? Our trading room and platinum package, we run a live trading room, it's eight and a half hours of audio visual, visual. After this, I have to go jump on the trading room. We have a web-based, so you can be anywhere in the world. You can be on your iPad. You can be on your iPhone. You can be at your computer, so it's web-based. We stream all trades live. The room is open at 7.30 Central Standard Time, an hour before the market's open, and it closes an hour and the market's closed. So eight and a half hours of audio and visual. Members can see my screen, hear my voice, and see all the trades I make throughout the course of the day. Uh, sometimes they let profits run, yes. You also re receive all trades via text, Twitter, and email. So we have some subscribers that come in the trading room. They're in there every second of every day. We have a lot of subscribers that only come in for an hour a day. We have some subscribers that come in an hour a week, okay, just because they don't need to be in there that long. Okay, They have full-time jobs. And if you have a full-time job, you'll get all the trades sent to your phone via text, Twitter, and email. This is an example of what they look like. This is premium Twitter here on the right, and the uh, text messaging. The price that we're offering today is cheaper than any of our products on the website for. Okay, and we're not offering you guys some product. I'm not want. I don't want to offer you guys a course. Why would I offer you guys a course when I can offer you guys something where you can watch me trade? I think in general the best time of the day is the beginning of the day and the end of the day. So this is the platinum package we're going to offer you today. This price is always three hundred ninety nine dollars. We're offering also giving you the Ichimoku Cloud Workshop, which is a $497 value. So we're offering you something today that's an $897 value. The trading room is our best product out there, hands down, bar none. I would never want to sell you a course because the trading room is the best. And our trading room is so good, I know no one can compete with me in the trading room space because I can out-trade probably anybody out there in the equity option field. Okay? Also, you get member-only webinars and videos. Subscribers are invited to get member-only videos. We do. We have the the largest, uh, probably we have the largest ongoing webinar series uh, out of anybody out there. We do four webinars a week for free. So when you become a member, you will do four webinars a week for free. Sunday night, we do education. 
Tuesday night, I always talk about something new. Thursday night, we have ETFs, and then Saturday morning, uh, we get technical analysis. So we have an ongoing webinar series. We have four free webinars per week for free. Here's my P&L, and you know, I let this speak for myself. I do a lot of snapshots for my phone. Uh, this was from Tuesday, and this was my P&L for the day on Tuesday. Um, made $27,806. This is from Tuesday this week, okay? And I can show you my P&L today. It's so uneventful. I'm down $150. So I'm not gonna make money every day. I'm, yeah, I lose money sometimes. How many, uh, we have over 650 paid subscribers to the trading room. 650 paid subscribers. Uh, once you get the usual option activity trade, is it too late to take the trade? Absolutely not. Because I get it in, this is the fastest feed in the world of getting the trade straight from the trading floor. Then I say, oh, like if this was a 10,000 lot, let's say this was a 10,000 lot of McDonald's. I'd be like, hey, uh, I bought 10, uh, I'm buying 100 calls of McDonald's, 230, targets 250, 270, 290, 310, 330, and then we send out the trade via text, Twitter, and email. Okay. So this is my P&L just from Thursday. Uh, the P&L, see the way that uh, they do it, this is on open positions. So a lot of my positions that are still going on are open. This P&L includes open plus closed. So my closed P&L is like 370,000. My open is 106. So this is overall. This is what I have open. Okay. So we offer this. This is Tuesday's P&L, $27,806. This is Wednesday's P&L. From this week, guys, this is from this week, $26,703. Thursday's P&L, $22,215. And this is probably my best trading week I've had this year. Okay, So I don't, I'm not saying I make $20,000 a day. Just this week, I've been on fire. I mean, in a day, if it's busy, I can trade 3,000 options in a day. Today has been really slow. I probably traded 500 options. Uh, do we trade Forex? Not that much, no. Mostly stocks, options, futures. This is today's p &L, okay? Win, lose, or draw, anytime you want to see my p &L, I'll just show it. I don't care. I know I make money. I know in the long run I'm always going to make money. So this is my p &L from today. Today I was down $460, you know, and this is going to move as the market moves. I'm down 1100 now, okay? So I'm down 1100 My P&L year-to-date is still up 170000 Okay, so this is today's p &L. So win, lose, or draw, I always look at my P&L. All it's about is P&L, all I care about. I could care less about my percentage of trades that are winners. Okay, so we have a great offer we have today, guys, and I'm going to give you about 10 minutes questions here. Uh, we have one month to our platinum package. We have 70 spots. My IT guy is sitting right here. When we sell the 70 spots, we will have no more left. I'm pretty sure we're going to sell out here uh, in the next uh, 15 minutes. We are offering... The most best-selling eBooks, daily portfolio spreadsheets, the weekly member-only webinars and discounted courses, trade alerts via text, Twitter, and email. The phones are already ringing. Uh, access to the live trading room. Okay, this is the Ferrari product we offer. This is the everybody's like, what do you mean you don't have a three thousand dollar course? You don't have a five thousand dollar course? I go, why would I do that? I'd rather teach people how to trade. Well, we have it on our website for three ninety nine. This is the best package we offer. This is the most expensive product we have. Plus access to a member-only educational webinar four times a week. We're offering it today for 47 bucks. And what I'm also doing today, we're going to throw in the Ichimoku course for free. Okay? No, you can sign up on the website below. We're throwing in this $497 course for free. Okay? $497 course plus $400. It's a $897 value. We only have 70 spots available. I'm pretty sure we're going to sell out. It is www.realtraderswebinar.com forward slash keen or call us at 312-261-5581. Couple questions here. How many contracts can someone, someone with 100,000 realistically make? You know, it just depends. I mean, it depends on the option, depends how much you're risking per trade, okay? So this is the platinum package, is the best product we have. We have 70 spots available. After the one month, it is 199. Four things I will say about this course, because I always talk about four things. Number one, you have a five-day money-back guarantee. You come in that trading room on Monday, if you're not impressed, I'll give you your money back. If you're not impressed by our trading room, I don't want your money. We have the best trading room in the world, 
hands down, no doubt about it. I can show you emails from testimonials from 100 traders telling me that that. Number two, we have a 78% renewal on our trading room month over month. Industry standard is about 30%. We, we renew 78% because our trading room is that good. We have 650 members of our trading room. 650 traders in there, all sharing ideas and trades throughout the course of the day. We have eight and a half hours of audio and visual. The trading room is run by myself and uh, three other moderators that were all former students. Okay, so the link is keynotemarket.com forward slash. Oh, sorry, Real Traders Audio, uh, Real Traders Webinar.com forward slash keen. Or you can call us at 312-261-5581. I see my inbox blowing up, and we're selling spots. Clarissa, you're in. Carlos, you're in. Uh, also, questions, guys, are good. Christine, you're in. Uh, Norman, you're in. Uh, Lawrence, you're in. John, you're in. James, you're in. Xavier, you're in. Simple and easy, guys, okay? Ronald, you're in. It's uh, $47 for the first month. It renews at $199. The Ichimoku workshop is yours to keep for free. Simple and easy, okay? We've had a lot of gurus speak today, a lot of presenters today. Has anybody been able to show you a P&L year to date? I have, it's $171,000. Simple and easy. Try the trading room, 47 bucks, okay? You get it for five days for free, basically. I'll give you your money back if you don't like the trading room, for five trading days. All of next week, if you don't like it, I'll give you your money back. You can sign up at Real Traders Audio, realtraderswebinar.com forward slash keen. Okay. Does anybody have any questions at all? Manual, you got to sign up. We have 70 spots available. See, the, the phone is already blowing up. Jahan, you're in. Steve, you're in. Steve V, you're in. Arun, you're in. I got seven minutes for any questions, guys. Raj, you're in. And it doesn't matter if you've ever taken this before. If you've ever been a member, you can come back and become a member again. It renews at $199, not $399. $199 after $399. No, you get a month for $47, bucks, guys. You get a whole month. You get a whole month. But if you're not happy with it, I'll give you your money back. Mary, you're in. Mark, you're in. Norman, I got you already. Uh, Laurel, you're in. So make sure you guys sign up, realtraderswebinar.com forward slash keen or call us at 312-261-5581. We only have 70 spots. I have six minutes. I can answer any question you guys want. Rick, you're in. Uh, you'll be able to get in Monday morning. You'll be able to get in Monday morning for all next week. It is for one month. So you guys can get in for a month. I'll show you the trading room. Okay. This is the trading room we're going on right now. 650 paid members of the trading room. James is on the horn right now. We have 302 people in here. Throughout the course of the day, you guys can come in here. Live audio, uh, audio is by the moderator. Chat box is all. You guys can share your trades, ask ideas. You can do, uh, do uh, you can private message me anytime you want throughout the day. So you can private message me anytime you want throughout the day. And this is the trading room. We have a, a whiteboard. They're gonna yell at me because I'm showing this live. The whiteboard shows all of our trades. This is my trade in Google. Notes tab, we have all of our positions. Okay. Notes tab, we have all our positions. I will trade Apple in front of the live trading room next week. Absolutely. Uh, how long is the average trade, winners or losers? Uh, I would say that I, I'm in an average trade, sometimes an hour, sometimes three months. Yes, we post all the trades in real time for you guys to see. I know Christian's up 3,000 today. Harry, you're in. Chuck, you're in. William, you're in. Uh, Min, you're in. Uh, no, it's not high-frequency trading. I've never wrote algo before in my life, and I've never high done high-frequency trading. If you like today's presentation, if you like the webinar, if you want to, I say simple and easy. Give me one chance with you guys. If you've never seen me present before, there's a reason I'm on CNBC every single day. It's because I'm really good at what I do. I'm a really good trader, and I'm good at explaining it, but I'm a better trader than anything else. Give me one chance with you guys, okay? If you've never taken the trading room before, I promise you'll be impressed, and if you're not, I'll give you your money back, okay? But we only have 70 spots available, and I see the lines are blowing up right now. We have a couple more questions I want to get here. Um, you have to go through the link here. Go to the link here. It's the trading room plus 
the Ichimoku course. It's an $897 value. Joel, you're in. Ken, you're in. You made 130000 in January. Christine says she can't wait to Monday. Jonathan says he's already in the trading room. It's awesome. Thank you. And like I said, guys, I got this email today. Um, you don't have to sit in front of your computer. Absolutely not. Because we'll send you all the trades via text, Twitter, and email. So let me go over one more time what you guys get today because it might be a little bit confusing what everybody gets today. Okay. We're offering one month of the Platinum Package. You guys can sign up in the link before. Okay. One month of the Platinum Package. This is our best product at a $399 value. It will be $399 for the rest of the year. We never lower, raise the price or lower the price. So you get a month of the Platinum Package. You get both BSL and eBooks. You get daily portfolio webinar. You get all trades sent to your phone via text, Twitter, and email. I sent over 100,000 texts last month. I was SendHub's number one client. I spent over $1,000 a month sending trades to you guys. So you guys get the trades in real time. You get the trading room, which is eight and a half hours of audio and visual. Eight and a half hours of audio and visual. I have three minutes here. Eight and a half hours of audio and visual. We have four moderators running the room. Myself for two and a half hours. Three other moderators that used to be students. Okay, They used to pay me. They bought courses from me. They learned the method. Now I'm paying them to run my trading room. Also, we're throwing in the Ichimoku workshop, which that itself is a $497 value. You we're offering this today for $47. Bucks. The phones are blowing up. We probably sold about 40 spots. We have 30 spots so far, and that's about it, guys. Okay, So make sure you guys sign up at realtradersaudio.com forward slash keen. If you guys have never seen before, if you like the energy, you like the presentation, you get this every single day for two bucks a day. That is it. Okay. I don't want to sell you a course today. I don't want to sell you an indicator. I want you guys to have a little faith. It's like it's like a first date. You got to make a good impression, right? My impression was this webinar to you. If you like my energy, you like my PL, you like how I'm honest, I'll show you my losses, I'll show you my gains. You want to take advantage of this. You can come to the trading room an hour a week. It's worth the 47 bucks. Invest in your education. Okay? And this is the best way to invest in your education. It's like sitting behind, you know, it's what, would you rather go golfing with someone who's wrote 20 books on golf, or would you rather go golfing with Tiger Woods? Tiger Woods, because he's the best golfer in the world, or actually used to be. I'm telling you right now, I'm the Tiger Woods of trading. Anybody can speak from my reputation. That's why I'm on CNBC every single day. So make sure you guys sign up. I got to get out of here. Thank you so much, Real Traders Audio. It was a blast. We're still blowing up, guys. This is my inbox right now. This is everybody signing up and calling. We have about 25 spots left. www.realtraderswebinar.com forward slash keen or call us at 312-261-5581. We will sign out this price point. Thanks, guys. And I'll see everybody in the trading room Monday morning. And I still had like 30 seconds to spare. Thanks, guys. Have a great time.